Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and today we are going to be wrapping some gifts. Because I actually missed out on this video last year, which kind of sucks because I love doing my holiday videos so much. And as many of you guys know, I was moving into my new home last year, so I just didn't get around to as many holiday videos as I typically do. So this year we are making up for it. Today I have a dedicated video solely on the topic of gift wrapping. And the fun thing about this one is we are actually going to be upcycling a little bit. I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite gift wrapping techniques. We're going to try out some trending gift wrapping ideas. Just all around is going to be a jam-packed, idea-filled gift wrapping video. I'm also super excited to say that I am teaming up with Amazon for this video, which is exciting because I'm sure a lot of us are going to be shopping at Amazon this holiday season. I actually am going to be sharing with you guys some ways to upcycle the packaging on the inside of your Amazon packages. You're already getting a lot of your gifts sent to you in these boxes with this paper on the inside. You can DIY some of this packaging material and turn it into really beautiful gift wrap. I hope that this video will give you guys some really great ideas. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I love anything block printed for the handmade and more novelty feel that it gives an item. And we are going to be creating our very own block print wrapping paper using one of the cardboard boxes your items come in along with this paper filler that you could find on the inside now, which replaces all the previous plastic air pillows, which were in Amazon packages before, but they now have 100% recycled materials that I can put in my recycling bin, which of course we're going to be using for our DIY. So I actually cut two flaps off of the cardboard box. And on one of the flaps, I'm going to be drawing a bunch of different star shapes. Now you could do whatever shape you want for for your block print, you could do stripes, polka dots. I just thought stars were really nice, especially for the holiday time. And since we are making a Christmas gift wrap, so I drew out a bunch of those in varying sizes, and then I just cut them out using a pair of scissors. And the key here for cutting these stars out is actually just using the tip of your scissors to cut into the star shape. So you're just gonna cut out little triangles out of each of the corners, and that is going to make it really easy to cut out these stars. At first, I was struggling trying to cut them out with the back of the scissors, but if you use the front, it makes it super easy. So just chop those out like this and you are good. I'm now going to take those stars and put them on my other flap of cardboard that I cut out and I'm just going to arrange them in a way that I feel looks nice. I was twisting them and just maneuvering them, spacing them out and keep in mind that you're going to be creating a repeating pattern with this so you kind of want to eyeball maybe where the repeat of the pattern is going to go and try to picture it in your head before gluing down the stars or whatever shape you are doing. When you get to the point of liking your design, you're going to glue it down and then I just simply cut around the edges. That way I can see the stamp that I'm going to be working with. And just like that, we have a little recycled cardboard stamp, a block print. And I just think it's actually super impressive that Amazon has replaced all their plastic air pillows with this paper packaging because it is made of 100% recycled materials. So I can use it for a project like this or I can put it in my recycling bin. But I actually remember, I think it was last year or the year before that, I crumpled up all of my brown craft paper to get the same look as this paper that comes in your packages, which I do find kind of funny. But I will say that the first stamp when you add your paint, I'm just using basic acrylic paint here. Your first stamp is not going to be the best. It's going to be your like priming stamp because you're going to want the paint to kind of saturate into the cardboard a little bit. This is my second stamp there and it's just super quick and easy. You're just going to load your brush up with paint, quickly brush it over the top of all of those star shapes or whatever shapes you have on your cardboard and then just stamp it down onto your paper and you're going to repeat this process and the reason that I cut around the edge of my stamp is it really gives me the exact shape of my pattern. So I'm able to kind of like position it in a spot where I know that a star is going to go or it's just going to repeat the pattern from left to right and from top to bottom. So I just repeated all the way down and I feel like I was able to probably create like three to four feet of wrapping paper in like 15 minutes and it was super satisfying as I was working on it and I just loved the process of creating this. Once that is all dried down, of course you can go in and start wrapping your gift. So I'm actually just doing a book here and I'm just cutting my paper down to size and just wrapping it how you traditionally would. I'm taping it on the back side and then folding in the edges the best that I can. I kind of pop the edges in on the sides first, then I push all the paper to one side of my gift and then I pull the opposite flap over the top and just tape it down to kind of cover everything on the inside. And that is how I wrapped this little book here. And I thought it would be really cute with some of this paper baker's twine. So I did a double little kind of looping of that around and created a bow on the front that finished off this DIY 100% recycled paper filler gift wrap that we created with a cardboard block print. Not only 
is their paper filler new, but Amazon actually avoided 130 million plastic bags this year by retrofitting their packaging machines to now create protective paper bags, which I can just put in my recycling bin that are created to the right size to just go right around the product itself. And we are actually going to be turning one of those paper bags into an ornament pocket. So I actually cut the edges off of the paper bag to just give us two even surfaces to work with. And I used a roll of tape to create a circular shape onto our piece of paper. And then on the top, I'm actually going to draw kind of like the top of an ornament, like little ornament topper. And all in all, we're going to basically be cutting out the shape of an ornament out of our paper bag. So we're going to have two pieces here. And then from that remainder of paper bag, I'm actually going to be cutting just some strips to create like a filler for our little pouch. And I'm just doing a bunch of these little strips, which we're going to crinkle up and add on the inside. You're going to see why in just a second here, but you're going to pop those to the side. And the interior of the bag is actually going to be on the outside. That way the Amazon kind of packaging and branding is on the inside. So we're going to be sewing around the outside of our ornament here, just going all the way around and leaving about a three inch gap or however big of a gap you need for your gift to go on the inside, popping in my filler and then adding in this set of earrings here, which I'm then going to go ahead and just sew and finish off that edge. This literally took me one minute to sew this so quick and easy and it secured your gift on the inside. I'm going to be cutting off that thread and keep in mind that you could totally do other shapes too. You can create a star, you can do any shape you'd like to, but I thought the ornament was cute because I punched a hole in the top, added some ribbon with a velvet ribbon, and you can decorate these, add them to the tree. It is just a fun and interactive way to give a gift, plus you're using your paper delivery packaging. And I have to give a few more options for those artsy people out there because I love this gift wrapping idea because honestly, it is 100% free. We are using the recycled paper filler on the inside of your Amazon packages, and I'm going to be using a pen as well to create all the designs on this piece. It's really super simple and it's fun. It's also very forgiving, so you don't have to feel too scared with it. But I'm basically going in with a paint marker to start, and I'm just drawing a bow shape and then kind of creating the thickness of the bow, adding the ribbon on either side as if it was wrapping around the present itself along with the tails of the bow and you're just going to want to make sure that the ribbon is seen wherever it would actually be seen if it was on the gift so you're going to want the tails to kind of fall through the loops of the bow you're also going to want them to fall off the edges of your present and then meet up on the back side and then i'm adding a little hang tag too i thought this was a cute touch totally not necessary because i do think the hand-drawn bow is just adorable as is like i think that is so cute you can even make it like a striped ribbon or polka dotted ribbon you can decorate the ribbon if you'd like and draw on there, but I just hand drew this little tag on there and love how this gift turned out. And another idea that I saw that I had to also recreate was a really cute drawn gingerbread home because I feel like gingerbread homes are also something that you can draw that are forgiving. Like it doesn't have to be perfect at all. A lot of the lines are squiggly. You can make them straight. You can do arched windows. You could do straight windows, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Um, I just feel like a gingerbread house is a really cute idea to draw on the front of a gift. And you can also make this as in-depth as you'd like to or keep it as simple as you'd like to. I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in-depth with this because I created this gift actually as like a little decor piece. I'm going to be putting it on my gingerbread house bookshelf. I literally have a gingerbread house bookshelf of different gingerbread houses I've created and this one will be going up there. I love it. It's so cute and I think the white paint marker on top of this recycled paper looks really nice. So even if you just wanted to do to and from on top of the recycled paper with this really nice paint marker, it's a great way to embellish your presents this holiday season. cute did that upcycled gift wrap turn out? I literally remember last year crunching up my brown paper itself, like the literal paper that I bought smooth from the store in order to get that crumpled paper look. I think it looks so good. I honestly have to say that my favorite is the sewn pocket ornaments. I love that you can make them into an ornament, which is kind of what I came up with this year, but I've actually seen people do them in different shapes in the past. So depending on like the paper bag that you get um, from Amazon, you can create different shaped ones, different sizes. You can even do like a big stocking if you want to fill the entire stock 
walking, how cute would that be? And then sew around the edge and hang it. I just came up with that and I think I need to do that. But I do wanna share with you guys two additional gift wrapping ideas because I'm sure there are a bunch of us out there that are going to be wrapping a ton of presents this holiday. So all of the supplies I actually purchased from Amazon, like I always do, the gift wrap, the ribbon, everything I'm gonna share with you guys is all from Amazon. So I'll link it below for you. And these are a few ways I'm going to be wrapping my presents this year in addition to my DIY gift wrapping, which I'm also going to kind of pop in to my other wrapped gifts, like in the form of tags or in the form of like little ribbons or banners. One of these two ideas might be just for you. So let's get into these. For this first method, I wanted to share with you guys these really great wrap buddies, which are so nice. Do you just clip them on the end of a table and it actually holds your roll of wrapping paper? I got these on Amazon, of course, and I shared these in a video a few videos back for the holidays and you guys love them. So I wanted to share them again because I use them every time I wrap a gift. It actually holds the tape as well. So what I did actually to start was I pulled off enough paper where I was able to wrap it around my present fully, as you can see here, and there's still about a tail on the end that is about the length of my gift a little bit more than that and that's because we're actually going to want to fold a diagonal on our little tail there and then we're going to fold that paper all the way over our gift as if we were trying to just like utilize all the paper that we had in the roll or in that section but folding it in a diagonal actually creates a little pocket there and then we're going to tape that down on the side and then on the end you're just going to wrap them as you traditionally would but there's now going to be a diagonal pocket on the front which is just a really cute and nice accent where you can slip some additional elements on the inside. color of this wrapping paper is so beautiful and it pairs really nicely with this jute cord as well so I wrapped that around a few times and just tied a bow just to embellish the gift a little bit and here's the fun part you can actually just slip some accessories in your little pocket so I cut down this little card which I can write a note on the back side I added some dried florals and some fresh cedar and pine little sprigs that I had and that is how I finished off this gift and it's just a really cute way to wrap a present. One of the most chic and sophisticated and just like timeless ways to wrap a gift I feel is to do a tone on tone with whatever color palette you like for the season. So I'm definitely opting for chocolate brown this holiday. I just love it. As you guys know, brown has been my color for like the past three years, but I'm wrapping my gifts in these beautiful matte chocolate brown wrapping paper and then accentuating the gift with a ribbon in the same exact color. So I ended up finding a velvet ribbon. I think the key here is just making sure that your ribbon has some form of sheen or texture to it and it's not just like a flat simple ribbon that's the same exact color as your paper you want it to have that like sheen or texture or just a little bit of added visual interest and that is how I finished off this gift And that, my friends, concludes this gift wrapping video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please give a big thumbs up. I would love to know too if any of these piqued your interest. So leave a comment below letting me know which was your favorite gift that I wrapped in this video. Whether it be one of the upcycled delivery packaging gift wrap ideas I shared or one of the two that I shared at the end with a pocket, for example, I'm gonna incorporate a bunch of the upcycled gift wrap in smaller ways. So this is like a little tag card that I can write on the back and I'm going to do so. And then it can just pop right back in the pocket of your gift. I wanna thank you guys all so much for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys!